Hello, I'm Michael from Virtual Shape Research and I want to give you some information about why it is useful to have our Rhino plugin Shape Analysis 1.0. In this video I will demonstrate the use of the surface matching analysis in conjunction with the function light lines. For this I'm loading a Rhino tutorial model called Camera SLR. If you are constructing a model for a customer, you will have to present your result either by showing it live on screen or by creating a rendering. So I'm switching to rendered mode and I'm increasing the mesh quality to make sure that what I'm seeing is close to what I've constructed. Rotating the model everything seems to be fine, but when you're having a closer look onto certain areas, you can see that the transition between some surfaces is not satisfying. For example in this area you can see a shadow line which shouldn't be there. I want to apply some matchings in these areas, so I'm exploding the model. Instead of just checking in rendered mode, it is easier to spot such problem areas by using either the native Rhino Zebra function or the shape analysis function light lines. The advantage of light lines is that instead of rotating the model, you can use a handle to let the lines run over your geometry. This is especially useful if you are interested in a special view or zoom area on your geometry which would be disturbed by the need of rotating your model. Transparent is another nice option of this function which allows you to see light lines and the model with its original material. So when you found critical areas via light lines, you can check how the model looks there without the need to leave the function. I will now apply a surface matching analysis on these surfaces. As you can see, the surfaces are position continuous. The reason for the unwanted shadow line is the tangential deviation between the two surfaces. Having a look on the other side of the camera, we find the same problem there. I am applying another matching analysis. Like on the other side, position is ok here, but we've got a deviation of the tangents at the transition of these surfaces. The reason for not seeing the comp of the analysis is that it is on the other side of the surfaces so that the shaded mode prevents us from seeing it. Now I know what the problem is, I want to apply a match surface to fix the transition problem. If the display of the analysis disturbs me, I can switch it off. As you can see, the shadow line disappears. The background you can see through the transition now is just a problem of the mesh display. This effect disappears when the surfaces are joined again. This is another good reason for having an analysis. It tells you if you really have a problem in the area you are looking at or if it is just a display problem. Although the shadow line disappeared, a small tangency problem remains. The option Adjust Scale allows you to easily spot such areas. You can then decide if the result is acceptable or if your geometry needs to be rebuilt. I will now join the two surfaces again to show that the line between the surfaces disappears. So considering position, there is really no transition problem any longer. And that's it for this video. We can download a test version of this plugin, which is valid 21 days after installation, on our homepage www.virtualshape.com. Looking forward to your feedback and thanks for watching.